Hello, may I help you? Hi, I was here yesterday. Yeah, I was just looking at the bags. How much is this? How much is this? Oh, um, I don't think that would suit you. It's very expensive. Expensive, it's very expensive. Yes, but I, I didn't ask if it was going to suit me. I asked um, how much it was. Marie, how much is this, please? It's very expensive, very expensive. Okay, I, um, I don't think we have what you're looking for in this store. Well, the thing is, our items are very exclusive, very exclusive. Very, you know, people of prestige come and buy our bags and a bag of such pedigree, I just don't think would, would suit you. You're probably in the wrong story, probably looking for something else. We can't sell you this bag. It's very exclusive. So I have the money, but you don't want to take my money. Okay, great. So is this business just all smoke and mirrors or something? Like, this is a disgrace. I just don't understand. I mean, I I'm beginning to understand your game here. So maybe you should go shop somewhere else. I've had enough, I'm going somewhere else. Goodbye. Bye. Marie, little does she know. I'd rather burn this bag rather than give it to her. I mean, she's not really the caliber of our client. We have an image to uphold, you know? These people, we have a brand to maintain. We'd rather burn these bags, maintain our brand image because that's 90% of our value, Marie, you know? That's what we do. All the brands do it. Burberry, Chanel, LV, I mean, it doesn't cost that much to make some clothes, apparel, make a few handbags. People think that to make the difference between making a five grand handbag, Marie, and a 10 grand bag, and it requires certain expertise, which it does in certain, you know, if they're handmade. But a lot of things are machine made. And Marie, you know as well as I do that the likes of that customer doesn't know. That the technical ability, we have all the machines and everything else to make anything we want. It doesn't cost that much to manufacture, but we have to engineer this perception of exclusivity. That's what you have to learn, Marie, when you're in this training situation. These clients, they will literally queue up for days and days and days. They will spend three months of their salary to get a handbag. And that's the image that we want to portray, that is scarce. You can't get your hands on it. Even though I have 20 of these out the back, Marie, 20. And I cannot sell it to that lady that just came in because she's, she's just not our typical client. You know, she's a nice person and all, but she's just not what we're, looking for. I mean, we have employed the highly sophisticated marketing machines and employ every psychological trick in the book to make people believe that this bag is worth 20 grand. That's the game, Marie. You might want to know that, I might want to know that, but that is the game. So people that come in and think they can just pick this bag or this bag off the shelf, that is just going to diminish everything we have worked hard to build up over the years, Marie. That's what we do here. We create an aura of prestige. These women want to feel like, you know, they belong to us. They belong with us that they can show the world. I mean, it's a genius, genius marketing gimmick, but they can show the world that they are worthy of wearing our brand, that they are respectable enough, that they are high class enough. You know, it's social prestige. That's the motivation, Marie. That is the motivation. People want to be seen wearing our bags. That's why we can charge the unreasonable prices that we charge. I could charge a hundred grand for this bag, Marie, if I wanted to. They'd still queue up looking for it, the suckers. They'd still be knocking on the doors, ringing every day, thinking they have a chance to get the bag. Marie, they're not getting the bag. 
They have to understand the game. It's not a bag we're selling, Marie. Do you know what it is that we're selling? We're selling... What is it? A lifestyle, Marie. That's what we're selling. A lifestyle and social status. That's what these people are buying. They think they're buying quality. They think they're buying exclusivity. But that's what we create in their minds. The psychology of this game is just incredible. I mean, the quality of some brands, maybe Hermes, you know, over there. Yes, they're hand-stitched, they're hand-sewn, one artisan. But the rest of us, they're machine-made, Marie. You know? And even at that, even in Hermes, the bags go between $11,000 up to $400,000, Marie, if you want a, an exotic skin. It's crazy. I mean, the bag is not worth that. It's just not. But they can't be seen to be any lower prices because people won't value them as much. People want to be seen in exclusive, prestige, one of a kind, just to separate them from the rest of the crowd. And we are doing them a favor, Marie. That's what we're doing. We're doing them a favor. We're here to help them to climb up that ladder of the them and us situation. That's what we're here for. So if we have to sell, if we have to burn some of our unsold inventory, Marie, that's what we do. That's what we do. There's thousands, billions of products burned every single year so that we can stay exclusive. So we have that image, the branding image, that that bag is not available. I mean, it's impossible to know the demand of these bags. So sometimes there's bags left over and we would rather burn them. In fact, Burberry in 2018, it slipped out that basically they were burning lots of their inventory and they're not on their own, Marie. We do the same. Chanel, LV, we all do the same. Because you can't be giving it out willy-nilly. That would destroy the whole prestige and aura of our brand. Do you understand, Marie? Do you get where I'm coming from? It's a highly sophisticated machine, you know? And also, do you know what else these people want? They want to know that their brands are made in Paris that their brands are made in Italy because again that's a social status. I mean some people won't buy LV unless it's made in France, made in Paris, made in... But wait till I tell you Marie. There are sweatshops all over the world which I know, I know, I know. It's very unethical. These people from China and everywhere else there's sweatshops over there but they're not the only place the sweatshops are in. There's sweatshops in Italy. There's sweatshops all over the world but you see what the luxury brands, us, Marie, do you know what we're doing? We're employing third-party contractors to employ these people in our Italian factories. Sweatshops in Italy, sweatshops everywhere. And these people, they're underpaid. They're working really long hours. They don't even have medical insurance. And yet, the people think they're getting their bags made in Italy. Yeah, 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 they are, yeah. But the thing is, Marie, they're made in Italy down the road by a load of Chinese people. I'm not saying anything against Chinese people, Marie. I'm just saying this is a fact and it's not fair. But yes, I get mad, Marie, working in this industry sometimes, but that's just the way it is. I have to train you up and, and tell you the ins and outs of how we are here, you know, in these luxury houses. So I just wanted to let you in on the disturbing secrets and you know, unethical behavior, Marie, it can be quite ugly. This world can be an ugly place, Marie, you know? So, I think that's enough for one day, Marie, that you've taken in there, I really do. I hope you soak all that information in and realize that we can't sell our bags to every Tom, Dick and Harry that comes in the door. No, we can't, because they're not our clientele. I don't care if they have the money, again. We'd rather sell the bags than have the wrong person carrying our money. I mean, these people, they have to show us loyalty. They should have to show us that they want to be part of our brand image. Like Hermes, do you know what they do? They make sure that you're, you have to spend, and buy other products and be loyal in their, you know, shop often in their armor and then, then you're worthy of a bag. You deserve a bag. That's what they like. They just prove that you're deserving of this bag. Work for it. You know, we all have to work. I had to work for where I got in life, Marie. And you will too. Now, that's all for today. But Marie, I wanted to ask you, because you smell lovely. What are you wearing? Is it this? This This is what you're wearing, Marie. Portrait of a lady. Let me smell it. Just let me smell it. Oh, it's lovely, Marie. Oh, 
I can smell warm, amber, spicy, Marie. I can smell rose and cinnamon and mmm. That is beautiful. That smells like class. That smells like it belongs in this store, Marie. Absolutely beautiful. Marie, what did you say your friend's name was that you wanted to say hello to today? Sorry, what, what? Oh, Donna Leach. Hi, Donna. How are you? Mwah. Well, that's it for today, lovelies. I hope you enjoyed it here with myself and Marie. We will be back again at work tomorrow. Please do join us. Give us a like because we work very hard. Hit the subscribe bell because it's free. And until next time now, Marie, be kind, be safe, be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah.